Chicago. And of course, anytime I go and visit home and and um yeah, I go smacking. Go home and just kind of experience seeing my friends and family. Always come back uh feeling a little more driven um to strive for and accomplish the things that I've set out for myself. So I kind of wanted to make this video today talking about that. About realizing when it is imperative for you to invest in yourself in order for you to receive whatever that is that you may be wanting or saying that you want. Uh, people say all the time that they want different things. Of course, we're all different individuals, so we want different things out of life. And um, But I don't think that a lot of us realize that in order for us to receive, we got to put we got to put something in the bank. It's kind of like a bank account. You know, if if you want to get interest, you have to put money in and you have to leave the money there sitting in order to earn the daily and the monthly interest uh interest rates. And with your life and with your, you know, business or with anything, it's, it's exactly the same way. If you don't or aren't willing to make the sacrifices that you need to make in order to achieve what you're saying you want, you won't ever, ever achieve those things. You know, and I'm speaking to myself as well as I speak to, you know, a lot of customers and clients and things like that. And it's, and it's very, very normal or, um, yeah, it's very normal for people to say, I want this, I want to do this, I want to have that. In, in two years, I want this. Five years, I want this. But then when they are told what they need to do in order to achieve those things, it's like it never happens. Or they come up with all kind of excuses for why they cannot uh, make the sacrifices that they need to make in you know, most of the time it's spending because when I say make the investment into yourself, it's generally about money uh, up front. If it's a business, it's going to generally be about money. You may say, oh, well, I really don't have any money to buy business cards. I really don't have money to, um, you know, get a logo. I don't have money to build a website. I don't have money to get products and different things. And like I've been told, taught by my coach, uh, Miss Angel Tussie, is that done is better than none. And waiting for you to perfect something, you're going to never do it. And then if you look back, I tell all the time, if you look back and say, okay, how much do I spend a week on fast food, on drinks, on cigarettes, on weed, on, you know, the different things that people are spending money on that they are not necessities. If you look and you say, and you actually calculate and you see how much you're spending on those things, you probably are spending $50 or more a week on things that you really could substitute uh, something for. So at that, at that point, you should say, okay, I'm not going to spend on those things this week and everything that I have left over and I know how much I usually spend every day I'm gonna take that cuz $50 up front $50 can get you a set of business cards it can get you actually a set of business cards and a logo done for your business if you of course uh, you know reach out to the right people and things and things like that now what I would also say first is if it's business if it's something business financial um, I would suggest take the $50 and invest it in a consultation you know I'm a business coach at the end of that consultation it may cost you uh, 50 60 bucks but at the end of it you will have all the information that you need to move forward and fit your progression for your business into your budget of what you have but it does have to 
You have to be disciplined. You have to make the investment in yourself in order to do it. You are not, just like anything, if you are in a relationship, if you are at a job. Watch out, vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. Oh, girl, y'all see, that scared me to death. If you are at a job, anything that you want to change in your life, you must invest the energy, you must invest the time, and a lot of times you must invest the money in order to change those things. You have to. You are doing yourself an injustice. You're doing the people who you're telling the same story every week, every month, about what it is that you want to do and then they look every week every month every year it's the same position you're in the same position then you're doing yourself an injustice and they tired of hearing you you know i had to say it to myself really about a year or two ago because i realized there's certain things at certain times and i'm always saying the exact same thing like oh this is just how this is at this time well you know what this is just how this is at this time because had not at that time figured out what I needed to do and what I needed to change about me and what I was doing in order to sure, ensure that next year, I'm not saying, oh, this is just how it is at that time. And that was a personal change. That was a me now having to make the personal commitment to do something different, to take money that I may have been spending on some different things and use it to invest into myself into my business and into building my brand so that then if i build my brand then that's going to be bringing in more money to me um, based on me now being able to reach more people with the the knowledge the passion the skill set and everything that i have to offer in the things that i do so then when there comes that point in time at that time you know I, every year i'm not saying Oh, this is just how this is because it won't be that way anymore because I made the right adjustments and I made the investment in myself that I needed to make in order to change my thinking so that I could change the outcome at the end. Shameless plug on my book. Remember, my book is Change Your Thinking, Change Your Outcome. It's available on Apple iBooks and on Amazon Kindle. And it is only $7.99. It is an ebook. It's a short read. I have a longer one in the works now, but we definitely, this short one can help you. It's change your thinking, change your outcome. That is the key to change in anything that we're looking to do. We got to change how we see stuff. We got to change how we see ourselves. We have to change the environment that we're in. We have to change up how we are doing things. We have to start doing things different. And it's all about investing. Investing in yourself, investing the money, investing the time, and investing the strength that you need to invest in order to make a change. So I'm just telling you, if you are someone who you do find yourself always complaining or always talking about why you're not, you know, in this position or you're saying, oh, that's just because uh, this happened or this usually happens or as soon as something comes around that, that can distract you, you allow it to distract you, then that means that you're not willing to invest the time and the discipline that you need to invest in yourself in order to do something different. I watch people all the time sit down, we sit down, we talk, and we talk about what the goals are and what the plans are. And then as fast as we come up with a goal, they oftentimes come up with a reason why they can't achieve it. As soon as someone who is a distraction uh, to them, who basically is not going to contribute to you achieving the goal that you set for yourself comes around, you are immediately distracted by them. That is something what I said about investing. That is something that you have to change. You really, really, it, it sounds mean, it sounds selfish, but when you are a work in progress, and you, which you always will be, but when you are working on things that you can achieve with just a little bit of commitment and a little bit of investment, you have to kind of be selfish and be willing to not 
waste your time. That time is conversation. Time is physical space with people who are not conducive to the growth that you want to see in your life and to the success that you want to achieve in your life. You got to be willing to do that. And if you're not, here's the thing. Because there are people who, who ain't. They're going to say it. They're going to say it all day. You're going to say it all day, all the time. Oh, this is that. Stop lying to yourself then. Just accept. I am okay in this moment and probably forever until I decide to commit to change and invest in myself. I am okay with my space that I'm in and stop complaining about it because you understand we all should understand that anything in our life can change if we get up and try to change it so if you are not consciously making the effort to change something that's because you don't want it to change so stop lying and saying you do if you know that being in constant communication or constant relationship with somebody is draining you, is dragging you down or keeping you down, and you still continue to be in relationship and communication with that person, and then you you are okay with being dragged down and being where you're at. And then don't make no doggone excuses for why you are still interacting with these people that are dragging you down, that are not lifting you up. They can say, oh, I, I, I matter of fact, I have people say it all the time. Like, oh, well, no, they really be helping me. They really, have somebody who ain't doing jack for they self gonna help you do jack for you. I'm just saying, that don't even make no sense. You have to look at the, the fruit that a tree is bearing. And yes, a bunch of people have a bunch of different, you know, uh, ideas, suggestions, and I'm not saying people that, that are not in the place that they want to be in their life right now may not have any good ideas because yeah, they do and they can but if their life and where their life is, if there's nothing in their life that you can see that you would want that isn't somebody you should be mimicking yourself after that isn't somebody you should be wasting your time with. And that isn't somebody you should be asking for their advice. Everybody is constantly working. There are billionaires that are constantly still working every day to improve areas of their life that they want to improve. But the key word is they're working every day. And I guarantee you they are not wasting their time or their energy with things and people that are not conducive to their growth and to their achievement or whatever that is that they're working to achieve. So, I just wanted to come on and make a quick, short video about this. Uh, you know, I don't like to do, I really don't like to do on my personal blog channel car videos, but I'm traveling and I wanted to get it off my chest. So, I will definitely still upload it. I hope it helps somebody. Stop freaking making excuses. Invest in yourself. Stop freaking allowing yourself to be distracted by things and people that are not conducive to your growth and your success. Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. Invest the time. Invest the money. Invest the discipline that is needed in order for you to achieve and do the things different that whatever that is that you may want to do. None of it is not going to happen. None of it will happen if you don't invest the time, the energy, the effort, the money, and the commitment to it. Believe me. Try it. And if, you, <coughs> and if you're not going to try it, stop lying to yourself about it. Be satisfied with being mediocre. Be satisfied with not overachieving until you are ready to commit to you and to doing the things that you need to do so that you can have the things that you want all right god bless y'all have a great day make sure that you subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so that you can be alerted to the next time i do a video please also feel free to comment if you have
some things that are holding you back, if you have some things that um, are distressing you or stressing you out, what I'll suggest that you do too and say, hey, how about you drop them in the comments? Leave them in my comments. When you leave them in the comments, that means you're leaving it there. It is no longer going to be an obstacle to you for your growth and your success. So put the things in the comment that you want to leave, that you want to let go of, and that you no longer want to deal with. Put it in the comments. Let's let it go. If you want to book a consultation with me, my links and everything will be in my description. But believe you me now, I will hold you accountable. I will give you the harsh truth. Sometimes you may not want to hear it. You may not like me at the end of the consultation, but you will know that the information that I'm giving to you is for the betterment of you. And sometimes things that are good for us aren't good to us and don't sound good to us. So take the chance, book a consultation, but definitely leave in the comments those things that you want to leave behind and what well, i like to say because we're at the end of the year that you want to leave behind in 2019 but i say once you drop them in the comments you're leaving them behind on december 11th 2020 no longer dealing with them because that's the day i'm doing this video all right y'all have a good one subscribe 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 see you next time